Hello dear all and a happy new year 2018 for all of us from our team here at Nachspielzeit.rocks, Auto und Mobil.tv and Andreas Richter.tv. My name is Andreas Richter. I'm welcoming you on behalf of our entire team for this video blog covering the Marrakesh e prix race number three of the fourth season of the ABB FIA Formula E Championship. ABB, a technology uh, group from Switzerland, it was presented as the new, the very first title sponsor of the racing series just a couple of days ago. Marrakesh, only station on the African continent. Last year we saw the inaugural race in Marrakesh, now the second edition and the same winner. Felix Rosenquist from Sweden for the Indian team of Mahindra. He has won again just ahead of Sebastian Buemi and Sam Bird. Sam Bird in his DS Virgin and Sebastian Buemi again in his Renault Edams. So that result created also a change in the leader position. Sam Bird was the leader ahead of that race. Now it's Felix Rosenquist, the man from Sweden. It was quite an interesting race, not a spellbinder, but also not a really boring race, so it was quite interesting to watch. It was fairly cool for Northwest Africa. People were quite tightly dressed on the grandstands and it was an interesting race as Felix Rosenquist got the lead only four laps to the end. It was a 33 lap race, 2.99 kilometers each, so nearly 99 kilometers racing distance. And the very special feature of that Circuit Automobile International Moulay El Hassan, that's the official name of the racetrack, it's a mixture of a permanent and um, a temporary street course here in Marrakesh. So that means it's a bumpy racetrack and different sorts of asphalt that created some difficulties for the one or the other drivers, but in total it was a safe race, even though some teams and drivers had technical problems. As I said, Sam Bird lost the championship lead, but he's still a heavy contender behind Felix Rosenquist and Sebastian Buemi. He got on the podium for the first time in this season. What about the defending champion, Lucas Di Grassi, in his upped his works up? He was last and 20th after technical problems. He had to drop out of the race fairly soon. Next station is going to be on February 3rd, Santiago de Chile. For the first time we're going to Chile and to that city and I'm really, really interested to see how that circuit, how that design of that circuit will affect the driving strategies and the racing interest of the fans on the rostrums. So we're going to talk to each other again in three weeks from now, February 3rd, Santiago de Chile, Ypres. See you soon. Thanks for joining us tonight, says Andreas Richter. Bye for now.